In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Streamlabs mobile app. You can stream to Twitch with it, you can stream to YouTube with it, and you can stream to Mixer. And in my opinion, this is hands down the best mobile streaming app available. And if you think I'm wrong, go down and leave a comment below and let me know what I missed. Let me know what app that you think is better than this because personally, I don't think there is one. And if you're new to the channel and you wanna learn how to make content with your phone, how to stream with your phone, or be a mobile YouTuber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And by the way, I wanna give a shout out to Christopher from Legion of Weirdos who sent me this rad shirt. Thank you, Christopher. I'm gonna put a link to him down in the description below. When this video's over, go down and check him out and let him know decent you. Now let me open up the Streamlabs mobile app and show you how easy it is to use and how powerful it is. So when you first open up the Streamlabs app, it's gonna open up an interface that looks like this. You're gonna have your menu up here in the top left corner. Moving on over, you're gonna have this little icon here. If you're a gamer and you wanna stream your game, and you're gonna to wanna to tap on that, and it's gonna walk you through the process of what you need to do to stream your game. Now, I'm gonna have future videos about this. If you are a gamer and you wanna learn how to stream your game, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on those future videos. Now, moving right along to the right of that, you're gonna see a blank spot right there. Before this goes live, you're gonna see an audio icon. You can turn your sound on or off. Obviously, if you wanna stream your audio, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that's turned on. To the right of that is this little profile icon, and that allows you to choose between the front camera and the rear camera. So choose whichever one you want, whichever one works best for you. To the right of that, you're gonna see this bell icon or notification icon. Now, if I tap on that, it's gonna load up all the recent activity on my channel. You're gonna see subscribers, you're gonna see super chats, you're gonna see any activity on your channel in regards to subscribers, donations, or super chats. So I'm gonna close that by pushing and dragging right out. Now we're gonna go over to the menu that I talked about first over here on the far left. So if you come up and you tap on the menu, you're gonna see live, editor, alert profiles, remote control, settings, and support. Here's the cool part. Here's where Streamlabs gets really powerful where some of these other apps don't do this. Now, if you go over here and you tap on editor, you're gonna see an event list, a chat box, and alert box. The event list is your activity. The chat box is the actual chat. All the people chatting, this is where it's gonna show up. And the alert box is where a notification comes up on the viewer end if somebody gives you a donation, a super chat, or if they subscribe to their channel. Now, you can tap on these and you can move them around or you can resize them however you want, and this is where it gets really cool. You can adjust these any way you want to fit what it is that you're doing. So if you want it to look like that, of course the viewer's not going to see these boxes, the viewers are gonna see the actual activity. This is what you see as a creator on the back end. And if you wanna add more things, they have a widget icon down here on the bottom right. If you tap on that, you see right here, you have the alert box, chat box, and event list. Those are all showing on the stream. You can also tap to show them on the preview. That just means that the actual live activity is gonna show on the preview. So I'm going to uncheck those. And as you scroll down, you can see the donation ticker, credits, donation goal, stream boss, viewer count, follower goal. A lot of these are for Twitch, so you can go in here and you can add whatever you want. You can also tap on add widget and go get more widgets. You can tap on add text. You can add more text. You can have dynamic text, which moves around, or you can have normal text, or you can add an image. So if you wanna add your own overlay or your own graphics, your own logo or something like that, that's where you can do that. Coming back to the main interface, if I wanna get out of this particular interface, I go up here to the left and I tap on the back arrow and it's gonna show all of the options again. So if I'm gonna go back up to the menu area, tap on that, and then you have alert profiles. And this works if you already have Streamlabs on your desktop and you want things to sync up. If you have a pre-built profile on your desktop, you build it there or you build it here and you can send them back and forth. This is really handy if you're using both a PC and a phone. Moving on down to remote control, what this does, this allows you to control your Streamlabs PC through your phone. It turns your phone into a literal remote control so you can switch cameras or trigger events using your phone. And I'll cover this in a future video. Going on down to settings, if I tap on this, this allows you to choose the platform that you're gonna stream to. You can stream to Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, or you can do a custom RTMP server. If you have a Twitch ingest, a Mixer ingest, that's where you put it. You can come into broadcast and change your output resolution, your frame rate, or your max video bit rate. 
because I'm streaming from Thailand and our internet connection is so-so, we usually stream out at 720 resolution. Streaming at 30 frames per second is fine unless you're a gamer. If you are a gamer, you wanna stream at 60 frames per second. And the max video bit rate, I would stream out of here at 2,500 because of our internet speed. If you have a blazing fast internet speed, you can crank that up as high as you wanna go until your phone starts to become laggy and then back it down a little bit. Now backing out of that, we have the audio option. It's already set at very high quality by default. I would leave it here. These are perfect settings for that. Moving on down, this is a remote control setting again, and of course about, and this is where you can log out under there. Coming back to the interface, you can see how powerful this is. And if you wanna see more of these types of videos, more about the Streamlabs app, go down leave a comment down below and let me know what it is about this app or if there's other streaming apps that you wanna learn about, go down and let me know. You know, I read every single question and comment and I reply to as many of them as possible. And when this video is over, I'm gonna go down there. I'm gonna see what you had to say about this app or any other apps regarding mobile streaming. Once again, if you wanna learn how to make content with your phone, how to stream with your phone, or how to be a mobile YouTuber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for watching, I do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video.